And let's move on to Ukraine and the besieged port city of Mariupol. Around its steelworks, there was the horribly familiar bombardment by Russian artillery. On the streets, though, there was the chilling and, frankly, bizarre scene of tidying up in parts of the city held by pro-Russian forces. They were shifting the debris of days, even weeks of war, to clear the way for Victory Day celebrations on Monday. Russia's determination to conquer every inch of Mariupol is clear strikes on the Azov-style steelworks as attempts continue to rescue hundreds of civilians still trapped here. But in the parts of the city already under Russian control, they're clearing up. A lick of fresh paint for military monuments as Russia gears up for Monday when it celebrates victory in the Second World War. Any reminders of the ugly reality of its latest conflict swept away. But the horrors that occurred here are hard to forget. Babies born in a cold basement as the bombs fell above them. When this was shown on Russian TV, they claimed they were liberating them. Absolutely. <laughs> no. But a midwife who was there told us a very different story. It was not liberation, Tetiana tells me, just plain murder, murder of women and children. Tetiana worked as a midwife in Mariupol for 40 years. This photo taken the day Russia invaded. I'm thankful to God that I was there to help those girls, she tells me. When Russia shocked the world by bombing another Mariupol maternity hospital, one of the injured women was rushed to Tatiana and her team. She tells me they carried out a caesarean as her son held up two mobile phones for light. The baby boy didn't survive. His mother touched his hands, his face. She was so courageous. She survived, but inside she was burnt, just like our city.